Once you've created a dashboard, it's time to share it with the world. We have a number of different options for this. Firstly, if you want to share it with the whole world, you can do so via Tableau Public, which is exactly what we're going to do today. Later in the advanced sections, I'll show you how to publish to your own private Tableau online site. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Tableau Public and publishing to Tableau Public has a number of benefits. The first one is you can actually track your progress in terms of what you're able to do over time. That's really good. Um, the other thing is you can actually build an online portfolio that you can put, you know, a link to your, you know, in your resume so people can see your actual work, right? The last one is uh, you can also use Tableau Public as a way of getting inspiration or you can use it as a way of inspiring others. So let me show you how to go about it. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you Tableau Public. So I mentioned it earlier in the course uh, as part of the kind of environment. Let's bring it over and I'll show you and I'll give you a quick tour. All right. So there's a number of you know, things you can kind of explore and discover. I'm not going to go through all of them. Probably the main one is really the gallery. So if you go to, um, you basically write Tableau Public, okay, in Google, and you go here to the first one. Um, I'll provide these links, so don't worry. Uh, you get to this one, uh, this page. This, again, is where you would download the software itself. Uh, you've probably already done that because we're up to this point. Uh, then you want to go to the gallery. So I spend most of my time in the gallery. And in here, you're going to see all sorts of crazy, crazy visualizations. And the really awesome thing is you can actually download them. So let's say I'm interested in this one. Not all of them are downloadable, but I'd say most of them are. So I'm going to open this one, for example. And I'm like, cool, how on earth did they build that? That's so creative. I can go down here, look at this part right here, and click this button. And that is the download button. And if I click on that, I can go, well, you can see here in this one, Tableau Workbook hasn't been enabled, right? But usually when you want to download this, you just press that button. Sometimes I don't want to show you exactly how they built it. I don't know why. Um, worst case scenario, maybe there's a way for you to try and get in touch with this person. I know if you click on this, it takes you to their page, right? And you can follow. I don't know if you can message through here, but I'm sure you can Google search and find them on LinkedIn or something like that. So let me show you kind of um, the next step, right? So I'm not going to go through each of these. You can kind of go through that on your own. Uh, what you want to do is you want to um, start a profile, right? To actually publish to Tableau public. Okay. So when you go in here, you're going to go, and I've actually logged in already. So let me just log out so you can see it sign out and that's what you're going to see you're going to see sign up or sign in so if you click sign up you're going to get this and you just you know fill it out like you would everything else uh, on the internet and then you have your profile so now going to my profile i'm going to go here okay there you have it that's my profile what you can do is once you've got your uh, visualization ready you can publish to this location and you can share your visualization. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move this over for a second. The way you do it is once you've got your dashboard built, you're going to go, if you're using Tableau Public, you're going to go File, Save to Tableau Public as. Click on that. First thing you have to do is you have to sign in because what you have to do is you have to link it to your profile. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Sign in. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and once you're signed in, it's going to do some like things, and then it's going to come to this save to Tableau, wor uh, save workbook to Tableau Public, and you give it a title. Say, My first, oops, first dashboard, and you go save. What it's going to do, it's going to compile it and it's going to send it to the cloud. So I'm going to bring my browser over and you can see what happens, right? Uh, an automatic uh, new window will generate and it will show your visualization. Just give it a few more seconds and there you have your dashboard so if i ever want to kind of see it as my collection just go my profile all right and there is my dashboard you know you can delete it you can download it again it's also a good place for um let's say you've built something like i built this a while back and it was really like a demonstration I think I was doing a class or something like that. I was teaching something or I was trying to kind of make something a bit more artistic, you know, and 
you'll come up with something and you're like, I might want to use that later. So you publish it to Tableau Public as sort of like your collection that you can refer back to later on because I can always go download. Okay, so what happens if I have Tableau Desktop? All right, so Tableau Desktop being the, the paid version of Tableau Public. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So I've got a Tableau Desktop version here. Um, similar process, except instead of going to File, you go to Server. So in server, you go to Tableau Public, save to Tableau Public, and then the rest of the process is the same. So you have to sign in, and then it publishes, a, give it a name, and then that's pretty much it. So that is Tableau Public, the tool, and then publishing it online. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you publish stuff. If you do, um, send me a link of anything cool you've published. I'd love to see it. Maybe if it's good enough, I'll feature it on my YouTube channel. So until next time, I'll see you, the, uh, I'll see you at the next video. Bye.